Well, here it is, guys. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile. It is basically a gimbal for your camera phone. And it works on iPhone or Android. So let's get it open. We have some instructions. Looks like the power cord, battery, wrist strap, even the uh, top of it has something in it, carrying case, and finally the gimbal itself, the Osmo Mobile just a quick rundown on everything that's on the Osmo Mobile. This button takes pictures. This button will record on and off. This is your joystick. You move that around to move the gimbal around. This is your power switch. Hold it down for a second and a half and it turns it on. Hold it down and let go while it's on. It'll put it in standby mode. And while it's on and you hold it down for another second and a half, it will turn it off. This is the trigger button. Press and hold down and it will lock the gimbal in place to what it's focused on. Hit it twice and it will reset it to where you had it when you first turned on the gimbal. And hit it three times. You will switch from front camera to back and vice versa. This is the area where you can attach accessories to. Since I do not have any accessories, I have covered it with the provided cap just to protect it. This is the wrist strap. This is the latch for the door of where the battery goes. And I don't know if you can see it there, but the battery is currently in there. Now at the top, we have a knob that allows you to open and close these clamps to fit your camera phone. And in order to balance, you need to use this knob, tighten and loosen and move this arm left or right. Right over here is the port for your charging cord. Please do not put your headphones into these. This is for the charger. This is the charging cord that DJI provides and it goes to a USB but DJI does not provide the actual charger so if you have a spare one around which probably you do this is what I'm using it came from an old Samsung phone you use this to help charge. And if you look right here, there is a sensor. Now this sensor needs to be blocked by your camera phone. If you put the camera phone and it goes all the way to the stopper, uh, essentially this will let the gimbal know that there is a camera phone in place and it will turn on. So I have put my Samsung Note 3 onto the Osmo Mobile and it is balanced. It is not going to the left or it's not tilting to the right, I can actually put it right in the center and it'll stay. To do that, remember there is this knob here that you loosen and tighten and then this arm goes to the left or right till it's balanced. If I go ahead and I hold down this power button for a second and a half, it actually goes into its first position. If you have it in a certain position like that, Remember the trigger button is right here. You hit it twice and it goes back into that first position. Another thing worth noting is that once you have your camera phone balanced on the Osmo Mobile, you can use any other camera app to achieve those smooth shots. Even pressing the trigger will focus on an area and won't move. You will be missing all the features off the DJI 
Go app, but at least you know it's an option if there are some special settings you want to use from other camera apps. Now this is the Note 3 camera app and there's actually a higher resolution setting on it that I do want to use sometimes. So it's a good option to know that you can use different camera apps. Quick observation here, maybe this can help some of you. If you look at the clamp, uh, there are these rubber tracks, one on the bottom and one at the top, and they have a little depth in them. Well, this measurement from bottom part to top part of those tracks is roughly 79.4 or 79.5 millimeters. So if you have a phone that this edge is much larger than that, you're either going to have to force your camera phone into that space or you'll need a phone that is not larger than 79.4 or 75 millimeters. Also, if you look at the distance between this left to right, that is roughly 8.3 millimeters. Again, I'm using my phone, a Samsung Note 3. This thickness is exactly 8.3 millimeters. I used to have a case on this, but in order to use these tracks, in my opinion, correctly, I actually had to take off the light case and use the phone itself. A little inconvenient, but definitely something you guys should know when you're using whatever phone you're using.